Mavi here. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on making a polka dot pattern for your background. So if you want to add these to your holiday cards, it might be a cute idea so you don't have to search the web for a download. You can actually make it however you want and it's really easy to do. So there's a couple ways to do it. Um, this is the way I like to do it and I'll give you the other way in a minute. So you're going to start with Photoshop Elements. I'm going to start by making a new file blank file. I'm going to call it polka dots. And I'm going to make a custom size and it's going to be 100 pixels. Make sure you choose pixels wide by 100 pixels in height and you're going to set the resolution to 72 pixels. Now you want to make sure that the background is transparent. Hit, click OK. Then you're going to come over to your zoom tool. It looks like a little magnifying glass or you can do control plus and you're going to make that bigger. Okay, I have rulers up here and I'm going to set I'm going to right click my ruler, I'm going to set it to pixels and I'm going to drag a ruler down to 50 and I'm going to drag a ruler over to 50. Another way you can do that is go to view new guide and choose 50 pixels horizontal and vertical. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a circle. So I'm going to take my ellipse tool, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hold down shift while I make my circle and that makes it perfectly round. And I'm going to make it medium size. I don't want it to take up the whole space. I have the color set to black and now I'm going to use my move tool and I'm going to do my very best to center this guy. If you need to, you can make it a little bit bigger. It's important that it's in the center so that your pattern's even. Just do the very best that you can. Okay, now this is a key part. I want you to go ahead and come over and select the shape and you're going to make a duplicate layer. You can right click and click duplicate or you can use Command or Control J. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top layer and it really doesn't matter which one. And I'm going to go over to Filter down to other and I'm going to choose offset. If it tells you that you need to simplify the shape go ahead and click OK. And the offset that I'm going to choose is I'm going to put 50 pixels right and 50 pixels down and I'm going to set the undefined area to wrap around. Click OK. So what happened was the duplicate layer that we made, we offset it so that we have pieces of it in the corners. Okay, so what I want you to see is this area here in the middle is going to be the space in between your polka dots. So if you make the circle too big, it might make them really tight together. Um, and if you make it smaller, they'll be very far apart. So you want to try and get it to where it's a little bit even, but you can actually play around with this quite a bit. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of my layers, so I'm going to come back over here, and I'm going to merge the layers. You can also say Merge Visible, and it'll put all of them together, or you can control and select them. And I'm going to come up to f Edit, and then I'm going to say Define Pattern and I'm going to go ahead and call this polka dots. I'm going to click OK and I've actually created a pattern. So if you want to see that pattern in action you can go ahead and create a new file. Let's make this one a little bit bigger since I'm going to use this for scrapbooking I'll go ahead and choose a scrapbooking size and this time I'm going to set the background to white. Click OK. Now to make my pattern show what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to take my paint bucket and then way up at the top I'm going to click the box next to pattern and I'm going to select the pattern that I just made. As you can see I've made this several times and I have different patterns but this is the one I just made and I'm actually going to save this and I'm going to show you how. You're going to come over to this double arrow and you're going to go down to save patterns and then you can call this whatever you want to call it but then it'll be saved for you in the future. Okay, so I'm going to select my pattern and 
I'm going to fill this layer with my pattern. And there it is. Now, that's one way. The second way is to go ahead and start with the same blank file that you did before, 100 pixels by 100 pixels. Go ahead and zoom in. Go ahead and keep your rulers there and your guides. And what you're going to do is you're going to use your brush tool. You're going to pick a brush, let's say about 48 pixels. You can go bigger, but as you could see, there'd be no space in between. Those would overlap actually, and small, there'd be a big space. So pick the size that you want, around 48 or 50 pixels, and try your best to put it right in the middle. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go up to Filter, Other, Offset, click 50 pixels right, 50 pixels down, wrap around, click OK, and then you're just going to come back in the middle and you're going to make another dot. Then you're going to do the exact same thing that you did before, edit, define pattern, and there you go. So you can do it those two ways. You can use a circle as I did here, or you can use your brush tool. So what I like about the circle is it's a little bit easier for me to make it bigger. If you're using the brush, it's actually making a single dot and it's a little bit harder for you to change your mind if you made it a little bit too small or a little bit too big. So those are your two choices. Now let's go ahead and go back to the pattern that I made on this paper. And I'm going to show you how to add color to it. Okay, so I have a white background. I'm actually going to change that to red because I'm going to use it for my Christmas cards. And I'm going to take my bucket. I'm going to uncheck pattern because I just want it to be the color. I'm going to make sure I'm selecting the background layer. I'm going to fill that with red. Now I'm going to come up to my other layer with the polka dots and I'm going to come down here where this is like a half circle and I'm going to create a new fill or adjustment layer and I'm going to choose solid color and the color that I'm going to pick is just going to be a little bit darker red. I'm going to click OK. Now in order to make this color match the dots what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to layer and I'm going to click select Create Clipping Mask. I can use Control or Command G also. And there's my pattern. Okay, to create a gradient, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select the polka dot layer. We are going to do the same thing as when we added the color. We're going to create a new fill or adjustment layer and we're going to choose Gradient. And we're going to select, um, let's do a red and green gradient. Click OK. And then I'm going to go up to Layer. Same thing, create a clipping mask, and there you go. You have different colors. Now, if you want, you can also select a pattern fill layer. I'm going to select a different pattern. There's burlap, there's sand, whatever you want. I'm going to select OK, and then I'm going to go to create clipping mask and there you go. So you can make a ton of different choices when it comes to your polka dots and you can use that paper as a background or you can put it into your lettering if you want. Anything you want to do it's really simple and I would encourage you to have lots of fun with different patterns. You could duplicate pretty much anything you want. Um, this pattern design will make a diagonal pattern if you want it to be just dots in a line, you would skip the part where we set the offset and you would just put your dot right in the middle. I hope you enjoyed this and if you have any questions, leave me a comment, send me an email. Have a great day and have fun photoshopping.